think about our makeup the same way we do our skincare. You put on a face mask and let it sit for a few minutes and your skin absorbs all of those ingredients. You do the same thing with makeup, but instead it sits on your face for hours all day long. So it's really important to have clean products that have really good ingredients in them for your skin. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Kelsey today I'm going to be showing you a clean makeup look which is basically my everyday tutorial Using the Sephora collection clean beauty products clean and quality usually means very expensive But actually all of the products in the clean collection are under $20 So big thank you to Sephora collection for sponsoring this video and I'm excited to show you guys the look Okay, so we're gonna start off this routine by prepping the skin. I've got some moisturizing makeup wipes here and I always like to clean my face before I do my makeup, also because I've only woken up about an hour ago. So we're going to go into prepping my skin before the makeup, which is extremely important and makes all the difference. Now this definitely isn't something I do on the everyday because I usually don't have time, but when you have time, very important. I'm also going to go in with a second wipe, which is the Sephora Collection Salicylic Acid. That's the French side. This is the clarifying peel pads, and I like how right on the bottle. This is 99% ingredients from natural origin. So I'm gonna take one of these, and this is actually my second bottle of these. When I was in Germany, they gave me one, and I've used them all up, and they sent me another one, so thank you. Basically, these are an exfoliating wipe that is a chemical exfoliant, so it's gonna go a lot deeper and be able to go deep into your pores to purify instead of just a physical exfoliant that's just gonna work on the top surface of your skin. So this is really gonna give you that inner glow and that that boost in your skin before you put your makeup on and then I'm gonna go in with a quick little five minute mask I love these little ones that they came out with they're so like just easy to use this is their pomegranate face mask and I'm gonna put this on just to moisturize I used to be really lazy with stuff like this and I would just throw on my lotion and then go straight into makeup and call a day but when you do all of these extra steps like the pros do you see that your makeup has such a big difference and they smell so good I love the pomegranate ones are my favorite just because of the smell and just let this sit for five minutes And I'm just going to use my fingers and take whatever is left on my face and rub it into my skin and bring it down my neck a little bit. And I'm also going to go in with a little bit of eye cream just because my under eyes tend to be the driest place of my skin. The Sephora Collection Brightening Eye Cream has hyaluronic acid in it. So this is also going to be like really nice and soothing to depuff under your eyes. And now we have prepped like the pros so now we can go into the makeup so i'm going to start off with the new sephora collection clean this is their clean glowing skin foundation and i am shade seven so i'm just going to actually apply this directly with my fingers which is something i never used to do till probably this year i went through a lot of phases of using brushes and going between sponges and never really being happy with anything but then I started using my fingers and they really just melt in and work in the product into your skin so beautifully so one thing I really like about this glowing foundation is they don't rely on say glittery flex or iridescent colors in the makeup product they're actually focusing on skincare in the product that will actually make your skin hydrated and glow so you're not relying on the use of glitter or anything to make your skin look like it's glowing it's hydrating your skin enough and having amazing products in it that's actually going to make your skin glow. If you know anything about me, you know that I love matcha. I, there's one right there in my fireplace. I drink about two a day. And this has matcha tea, which is extremely hydrating in the product. And it also has vitamin C. So it's going to be really good at super intensely moisturizing and hydrating your skin. This also has a buildable coverage. So no need for even a second product. I'm just going to go in right under my eyes or wherever else you need it and use this like a little concealer. Next we're going to move on to brows, which makes me extremely sentimental because it makes me miss Troop SC and remember when I started using this product in Germany. So first I'm just gonna kind of gel my brows into place and push them up. And then I'm gonna go straight into filling them in a little bit. This is the Sephora Brow Pencil Waterproof. I'm just gonna fill these in just a little bit, keeping my natural shape. Now we're gonna move on to blush. 
you will notice this is not a blush. <laughs> so about a week ago, we had a little Zoom call reunion with True Best C and the Sephora team. We actually had a masterclass with Helen on all of the new Sephora Clean products. And what she did was she actually used this lip product as a blush and it looks so pretty. So I'm going to recreate that in today's look. Now you've probably heard me talk about using my cream blush as lip, but I don't know why I've never used lip as blush before. So this was the shade she used. This is number three in Tulip. And this is their Clean Lip Mousse. I'm gonna just dot a couple dots here and blend it up and out, and I'm gonna bring it up my cheekbone to shape my face. And I think the moussey consistency of this lip product works so perfectly to blend it onto your skin. Also, I noticed that these two other colors would be really pretty. There's so many colors in the line of the lip mousses. So I thought this one would be really pretty. This is number six in Peony. And then this one's more of like a natural color, closer to what I'd use on my everyday. And I use this as lips all the time, so I need to try it. And this is number one in Pine. This is like my usual go-to color from the collection, my favorite one. It's just like the perfect nude. So all of these colors would be really pretty as blushes. I'm going to go in with a little bit of a bronzer just to warm up my face. Now I'm going to use a product that's an old time favorite. If you've been on this channel for a while, you've probably seen me use this in vlogs like three years ago. This is the Sephora Collection, their Radiant Luminizing Drops in the shade Morning Light. And again, just using my fingertips. Now that I'm done with the majority of my face, I'm just going to use a little hydrating spray. Now I'm going to move on to eyes, and this also I'm going to sort of take inspo from our Zoom class. So this is the Sephora Clean Bouncy Eyeshadow Palette, and I didn't really know why they called it bouncy until I started playing around with the colors. And I love this jelly consistency that they have. It makes it really easy to work in, makes them super blendable, so it's easy to get that sort of ombre look, and it's really easy to use with your fingers, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with the bottom sort of champagne-y highlight shade here. Take that on my ring finger, and I'm just going to bring that across my whole lid and into the inner corner. It's just so easily blendable and just works in. And the color payoff is amazing. Like, that's just like barely swiping the top, lightly pressing it on. You get this gorgeous, glowy color. And it's a clean product, which is surprising because most of the time, the color payoff and the pigment isn't that strong in clean products, so... I really love that about this palette. Now I'm going to take the shade right above it, which is more of like a rosy, really pretty color, and I'm going to work that into my outer corner and the crease just to sort of add some like warm shadow. And like look how easy that is. I love effortless makeup to just swipe it on with my fingers. This is so easy to take anywhere and just do in like five minutes. I'm going to add a little bit more highlight because I have a problem. <laughs> and now to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna curl my lashes a little bit and add just a touch of some brown mascara to keep the look natural, but to still open up my eyes. And as you can see, just really sort of pulled the look together. And now for my lip, I'm gonna go in with two of these Sephora Clean Glossy Lip Oils. I'm gonna start with the clear gloss. This is just shade one in Juicy, just to sort of hydrate. And then I love to layer on top just a little bit of color with shade two, which is apricot. And this is like the most gorgeous lip gloss ever. There we go. And I mean, these lip glosses, these are gorgeous. Like, I honestly prefer them over the really expensive ones I was using before. And I think these are like $12, which is insanely amazing. Like, the quality of a gloss that you can get. And that is the finished look. I'm going to finish off with a little bit more spray. And there we go. That is my full face of clean, everyday makeup look using the Sephora Collection Clean Beauty products. Thank you so much to Sephora for working on this video with me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Shop all of the products in the link below and make sure to subscribe to my channel. And that is it. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.